Okay, now this set of problems might seem a little difficult and you might be lost right at first, but it's really not that difficult because all they're asking us is to find the value of k, this constant. What is our constant term going to be is what they're asking to give us the different types of root. So we have two real, unequal, okay, and we have a double root, and we have two conjugate imaginary roots. Those are our three possibilities for roots. Now under each one of those categories we have to figure out how am I going to get to get two real unequal roots. Well if I get two real unequal roots that means that b squared minus 4ac, our discriminant, has got to be greater than zero. Well figure it out. b squared is 4 squared 16 minus 4 times a which is 2 times c which is k is greater than zero. Remember our c is k here. So now you just solve this inequality for k. So this is 16 minus 8k greater than zero and if I add k to both sides and flip it around I get 8k is less than 16. Divide both sides by 8k is less than 2. So for every k less than 2 I will get two real unequal roots. Well, over here for a double root I know my discriminant will be equal to zero. So b squared minus 4ac is equal to zero. And over here um, to get this I just put the same equation only I change it to an equal sign. 16 minus 8k equals zero. That means that 8k is equal to 16 and k is equal to 2. Now I have less than 2 equal to 2. What do you suppose it's going to be over here? I got a feeling it's going to be greater than 2 but let's figure it out. To have imaginary roots this has got to be less than 0. b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So that means 16 minus 8k is less than 0. So that means that 8k is greater than 16 and k is greater than 2. So those are the values that you would have for k. Anything greater than 2 gives you imaginary roots. Okay, this one's a little more complicated because our k is squared, so we're going to have a little bit different answer. But it's the same basic thing. b squared is 36 minus 4 times a is 36 and c is k squared. k squared greater than 0. Now we have 36 k squared is less than 36 just by flipping it around um, and changing the sign. Now I divide both sides by 36. k squared is less than 1. Now we need to do the rest of these because when I have something going to be less than 1, it could be a lot of different things. But um, let's figure out the rest of these because this one, k squared is less than 1. Remember, k could be equal to negative 1 or it could be positive 1 less than. So what you have is you have this range, if I draw a number line, which makes you visually see this, at negative 1, positive 1, if k is anything in here, okay, you're going to get that. So at negative one half squared is one fourth, which is less than one. And so that's why this is this way. So we have to write this as negative one and put your k in the middle and your one on the right. So now you have these in the order of the number line because k is in here. So it's greater than negative 1, less than 1. And that's how you write those. Now for 36 minus 36 k squared equal to 0, what you're going to get here is 36 k squared is equal to 36 and k squared is equal to 1. Well that means if k is equal to 1 then k squared is equal to 1 
take the square root of both sides, k is equal to plus or minus uh, 1, square root of 1, which is 1. So it's plus or minus 1 in this case. So you have two double roots there. Uh, now, on the conjugate imaginaries, 36 minus 36k squared less than 0, you're going to get 36k squared is greater than 0, oh, sorry, greater than 36, because I put 36 over there. So now, divide by 36, k squared is greater than 1. Well, if k squared is greater than 1, k squared could be negative 2. When you take the square root of both of these sides, you're going to get k is greater than plus or minus the square root of 1, which is greater than plus or minus 1. So like on your number line, now you've got negative 1, 1, and now you have greater than 1, less than negative 1 here. And this one in particular, you need to leave it um, separated. K is greater than 1, um, less than negative 1. So when you have the negative 1 in here, you have to have this less than.